I say thank you. No, 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 thank you. I found, <laughs> no, 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 what I mean is thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I said to my sister, I'm like, this is really funny. I found these glasses on the street. Yeah. And she's oh, like, okay. you're kidding me. And I'm like, yeah, and she's like, well, do you, and I'm like, well, sometimes it's helpful. We get older, we want glasses, but I seriously just found these on the street. And please put your glasses back on, Tom, because then we all have glasses here in this Zoom oh, meeting. Oh, yeah, Every people. single one yeah, of us have people. glasses. We're all, oh, at, yes. we're all the four eyes of the group, or I don't know what it is. But before the next poet, Mr. Rhyming Man from, from England himself, um, it has been suggested to me I read one more aluminum-themed poem that is in this book, The Cool Cold, which is partially based on his references to cold and poems at the beginning. And this is, I can't believe I'm doing this for you, but I am. This is called Aluminum, Aluminium, Aluminum. Here you go. So, back in the day, this is how researchers conducted science when working with things they didn't understand. So, when a Denmark man in 1825 discovered element 13 and wanted to know everything about it, he tasted the element. Thinking it was bitter, he made his mouth tighten like he ate a like ate like he ate alum. He posed the name for element 13 to be aluminum. But I think the scientists that formed the element naming committee didn't like that name, so they called the element aluminium. But the element's name is aluminum. Uh, aluminum is, uh, aluminium is a British thing, so why do we know the name as aluminum? Well, I heard a man explain that he knew. Now, I don't know if this is true, but hear me out. He heard that in the States, when a company, uh, wait, it might have been the Aluminum Company of America, Alco Alcoa, but I'm not sure. But when they were starting, they felt that it filled its name in the federal government. Uh, they filed its name in the federal government. And when meaning to write the word Aluminum Company of America, they forgot the letter I so that their name became the Aluminum Company of America. And, well, it stuck, <laughs> not only to the company, but also to the science community in America, and became something someone forgot, and it's because somebody forgot to write a letter I for registering a company name, all American-speaking countries now say aluminum instead of aluminium. <laughs> so, from it tasting like alum to misspelling a word, aluminum, I mean aluminium, or rather aluminum, now has quite a list of aliases. There was a little thing about the many names of alu aluminum, 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 so anywho. But that was another one of the pieces, and I did that for you, and on request from Zoom host Sean F. McFallen, I hope you found it as entertaining as my, as my hat that rattles whenever I talk. <laughs> anywho. But th thank you for the thumbs up. So there was your another installment of aluminum, aluminum themed poetry. And now I should be giving four probably rhyming poems from our gentleman from across the pond. So it is all up to you.